Aloha and welcome. Mahalo for tuning in. My name is Romeo Valentine and today we're going to get a glance at Finding Ohana, a new movie coming to Netflix January 29th. It's about when an Oahu summer takes an exciting turn for two Brooklyn-raised siblings, when a journal leads them to the long-lost treasure and sets them up on an adventure with new friends. Not only to do that, but lead them to their Hawaiian heritage. So today we're gonna embark on our own adventure as we check out some clips from the movie, go behind the scenes, and even talk to some of the cast. But before we get started, and before we head into the cave, why don't you check out this scene? I'm sorry, but I have to enter. Uh, I mean no disrespect, and I do this with a clean heart. Mahalo. Oh, is that an offering? Yes, Iowane. Okay. Me? Your turn. <laughs> What's up, Mountain? Look, you looking beautiful right now. We gotta get up in that cave, so we're good. We can go now. Ladies first. <laughs> you know, Thailand was the actual location for the cave scenes because in Hawaiian, caves are kapu, which means forbidden. And they're also known to be the burial locations. So this next scene I wanna show you is actually one of my favorites, okay? And it's probably one of my favorites because I related to it. You know, back when I was a teen, I actually took my dad's van before I even had my license. And in this scene, you'll see Peely do the same, except she took her papa's truck. And not only that, it gets funnier. She strapped on some cans of Spam because homegirl was a little too short. She couldn't reach the pedals. So nothing, a can of Spam can't fix. Check it out. You said you knew how to drive. Jim, I know what I'm doing. Hold your tater tots. The adventure is getting crazy, right? You know the words ohana, mahalo, and aloha? Those words are gonna be used throughout the movie, but that's not it. I know a lot of us are like, I know what ohana means, I know what aloha means, I know what mahalo means. Of course, they're used in so many movies, and of course, it's probably some of the most popular words in Hawaiian. Well, this movie has over 100 Hawaiian words that are gonna be used. But right now, I wanna take you guys behind the scenes, okay? So I want y'all to come with me, uh, get your mosquito punk, whatever you need, but we're going behind the scenes right now, so let's go. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Hi. Action! Alright, watch this play back. And then while they're there, he can make some micro adjustments. If you love me, love me, love me like you say, darling, don't need you. Ah. 
You want something else? Learn how to cook. Wow. You know, one of the things I always think about is how do actors and actresses get casted in movies? Well, for this movie in particular, Instagram played a huge role. Leslie Wu, who's the casting director, was following both Alex and Kay on Instagram. When she told director Jude Wang, she said, I think that these two can be a good brother and sister. Jude Wang obviously agreed. So one of the things I thought was so cool about Jude Wang is she took a DNA test, okay? And she found out that she had 20% Polynesian in her. So, director Jude Wang, I wanna check out some scenes of what it's like to be with her on the set. Check it out. This is the best live show you have seen in a long time. So, um, Alex, if you have your guitar, Lindsay, we figured you have a solo cup or something from the party. Yeah. Boom, that pop, 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 boom, that pop. Boom, snap, clap, snap. Oh, <laughs> nice! Snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. It's hot. There's mosquitoes outside. And lots of bananas. And you're so happy to see each other. Yes, I got the dialogue at the top. Here we go. Ready and action. Boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap. That's the cycle. What sauce did you use to cover your your friends? <laughs> that's hilarious. So we'll do one where you cover with your hands and we'll do one where you cover with the props. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're, you're being a great sport. So again, this is purposefully messy. I have no idea what's going to happen other than if I had a camera generally out here, if you're sort of running circles around him while you're trying to clean up, let's see what that looks like. Okay. Wait, we're riding the ATVs again? Bring up the spam, gotta rub it for good luck. There we go, rub spam for good luck. I hope you guys have been having just as much fun as I have, especially in taking a beautiful view right here on Oahu. One of my most favorite things about this movie is the authenticity. You know, the production team made sure that it was so important to them that this movie was authentic, that they even had a Hawaiian consultant, they had a tattoo consultant, a geocaching consultant, and even a night marching consultant on set to make sure that everything was what it needed to be. And also one of the other cool things is that before they filmed each set of the movie, they made sure they had a Hawaiian priest come on to be able to bless the land and ask for permission from the spirits to be able to film on location. I thought that was so cool. So this next clip I want to take us straight into, it dives us into the caves. We're going into the adventure of this movie. So I'm not even going to say much. I know you want to see it, so check it out. Yo, what are you doing, Hana? Uh, I'll be right there. Hana's not a big fan of heights. Then how's she going to cross at that? You know, Hana. We're probably not that high up. It's not that deep. Me and Casper will cross the bridge first. Wait, what? what? No, you're not test running this death trap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not call it that. We're the lightest out of you two. If anyone should test it, it should be us. It's true. You have a lot of muscles, and muscle is heavy. I do have a lot of muscles now that I think of it. Really? Now, what are you guys talking about? Nothing. It'll be fine. Watch. Oh. Oh. There it goes. At this
this time, I want to go talk story with some of the cast. We're going to check in with Owen Vaccaro, who plays Casper. And you may be familiar with him from some of your other favorite movies. You know, I'm so glad that he's in this one, though. You know, this one is special. And for the first time ever, Kea Peahu plays Pili. You know, this is going to be her first featured film, and she did an amazing job. So we're going to go check in with both of them and see what's up. Check it out. But, you know, congratulations, you guys, on the big, big movie. This Thank is you. huge. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, real quick, I mean, uh, you know, this is, this movie is a uh, huge for Hawaii. After I watched it last night, I was like, wow, this is, and you guys did your homework, you know, even, I want to say Owen was like the connector, like he knew everybody, you know, <laughs> that's real. Um, how was it? <laughs> yeah, like, that, but... yeah, how was it for you to, you know, jump into a role, um, you know, this first time in Hawaii, how was it for you to jump into a role that was brand new to you? Yeah, I mean, it was an absolute blast. Luckily, I was surrounded by people who knew a lot more about the land of, you know, the land um, and, you know, the culture of Hawaii a lot better than I did. So they were able to teach me everything that I do know now. And yeah, I'm very glad that I was able to step in my character um, with a lot of new knowledge about Hawaii. And I'm very happy to, that they were there for, you know, teaching me. Yeah, sweet. And, you know, another thing is, um, Kea, I wanted to ask you, you know, you coming home, you know, this is like a homecoming for you. I mean, how did that feel for you and you jumping into a role of, uh, you know, just playing yourself? <laughs> yeah. So Pili and I, I'd say we're pretty similar. I mean, I feel like I carry the same energy. I mean, I'm very energetic like she is. Sometimes yeah a little lazy and chill but you know that's okay but um yeah coming home it, it meant a lot to me I was really excited for it because you know I don't really get to come home a lot so anytime I do get the chance to come home I'm really grateful for it and I appreciate it a lot and you know it's my first ever movie so going into it I was super nervous but everyone made me super comfortable I felt like I could play this character really well and I felt like I could be myself on and off set and I don't know. I feel like I feel like the experience couldn't have gone any better. Yeah, because I mean, you obviously been on so many big stages. You know, you're no, you're no, um, you're you're not new to uh, being a performer because your your dancing career is just phenomenal. You you went on tour with so many different people, and of course, you won on the big stage. You know, um, at World of Dance, which is awesome. So I mean, how was it for you to adapt from becoming a dancer? You know, where you really don't say anything, you say everything with your body when you're moving. To yeah actually acting so dancing and acting are a lot different with dancing you kind of commute your way through your body and you kind of communicate with using your emotions throughout your body and letting the music help you express yourself versus acting where everything is words and you're physically saying your emotions so it's two very different things but I mean I I can't even say which one I love the most I feel like my love for them is both really high how was it for you two to work together um, on this film? Owen, uh, I'll start with you maybe. Uh, how was it, you know, working with Kale and, you know, you guys you guys all had a connection. It was great. Yeah, I mean, working Kale with you was literally so fun. And, you know, the rest of the cast also. But um, Kale and I, we had, like, every once in a while we'd have a sleepover. We watched so many movies and did a bunch of things all around Hawaii. Um, in Thailand also, because we were also filming in Thailand. So we did all these crazy things there. We went on like an elephant sanctuary, like tour. And we got to meet all these cute elephants. We went to a lot of beaches. Yeah, I mean, we really kind of did a lot on that whole island, really. Wow. What about you, Kim? Yeah, I, I totally agree with Owen. I mean, working with everyone was so fun, but specifically specifically for Owen, I mean, I was really glad, first of all, to have someone my age to, you know, work with. And also, he's really experienced, like, as an actor. And since it was my first movie coming on, it was really cool to be able to look up to someone, especially around my own age, for, you know, some acting tips. That's cool. Well, thank you guys so much. You know, I uh, wish you guys the best of luck. I'll probably be seeing you guys soon. So, you know, God bless and uh, enjoy your guys' day. Congratulations on the new movie. Thank you so much. It's so great talking to Kay and Owen. And just to see the excitement that they have for this movie coming out, I hope you two at home will be just as excited as they are to see it. You know, we're also going to go check in on some of the other cast. Lindsay Watson, who plays Hana, is from Maui. Surprisingly, she is from Maui. And her grandmother lived right up the street from where they filmed. Super cool, right? And we're also gonna check in with Alex Aono, who plays Iwane. 
who is actually Peely's older brother in the movie. I'm sure you're familiar with Alex because we all seen him doing so many different songs and covers on YouTube with millions and millions of hits. So let's go check in with Lindsay and Alex right now. Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Yo, what's up, man? How are you? Great. I'm great, man. Excited. You know, I just uh, watched the movie last night and uh, <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Uh, oh, thank you so thank much. You. And I'm, I'm a surprise. It looked like you guys are in Wahiwa General Hospital at the end. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> wow. Yeah, the, you pinpointed that one with the accuracy. <laughs> he was like. <laughs> I, was, I was curious. I was curious. My wife was like, that looks like, I was like, I think so. And so I was like, I'm going to ask. Is that why you want to <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't even know. I know that it was a haunted, abandoned hospital and they had to like get people in there to bless it so that it didn't, you know, so we had like good vibes going, good energy, good, uh, good spirits. But I have no idea what hospital that was, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? A lot of spots out here is like that. Even our radio station, we had to bless it a lot of times. So yeah. uh, I know exactly what that is, what that's like. And um, I wanted to ask about these, uh, the night marches uh, in the movie because it brought a lot of memories back for me as a childhood. That's what we all talk. I was afraid of night marches. Like, <laughs> you too? Me too. I mean, I, I don't know if you remember watching that night marchers like a uh, documentary when, I mean, I watched it from when I was a kid and it's that, it's the one iconic movie I can remember of growing up in Hawaii was that we all watched night marchers and it's like a camera crew that like, follows night marches I didn't know if it was ever real but it scared the life out of me and it stuck with me for the rest of my life so <laughs> yeah no it really does like the night marches stuff sticks with you and um you know when Alex was telling a story in in um in in the movie when he was telling Kayla's the story in the movie um I was like oh my gosh I was like this is like everybody growing up yeah. Except there was one thing that um uh, I mean there's one thing that people told me growing up you know with the night marches is not only you know you can't look at them you gotta you know get down but they told me you had to get naked. And I, I, I want to know if that's a myth or a truth. I Listen, going there. we, going we there. had to, we had to keep the movie PG. That's all I got to <laughs> say. We had to keep the movie PG. Uh, and then I'll let Lindsay cover the rest of it. I'm just saying we had to keep the movie PG. Yes, correct on the PG part. But I will tell you the same thing. Growing up in Hawaii, I've been told the same thing. If you see the torches, you hear the drums, you get down, you get naked and you don't look at them and you let them pass like that's just all it is you know that's is it real I don't know but I mean I've had lots of friends say stories about night marchers so I've yeah. never encountered them myself I will say that I have not but I've heard more than enough stories to keep me scared for the rest of my life <laughs> oh yeah you know and reading the Obake files I, I'm sure it's a book that had a lot of scary stories that that definitely put it there yes. Oh my God. It was bringing back all the memories, hearing about all the night marches and all that stuff. And that was, that was, that was kind of crazy. I was like, yo, this is legit. You guys actually <laughs> did your homework. Yeah, for sure. Alex, you, what did you have to do to prepare? I mean, you know, you're coming out of town. You know, Lindsay's from here, from Mount, you're yeah. from Mount, you know, and Kaya's from here as well. I mean, what did you do to prepare to be localized? I mean, I think you you hit it on the head. Everybody took really, really good care at making sure the culture was um, was respected, was represented in an authentic way. Uh, and so I think for me in preparation for the movie, it was doing just that, making sure that I listen before I go, oh no, I think it should be this way. I think it should be this way. We are so lucky to have um, native cast, crew, um, cultural advisors and the production from Ian Bryce to, uh, to JJ, and everybody, um, including Jude Wang, the respect for the Hawaiian culture in general was there. And so I think the biggest piece of getting ready for this movie was uh, really respecting the culture and letting the culture um, show itself instead of trying to be some kind of, you know, know-it-all cast member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was great. Well, you guys did an amazing job in the movie. I loved it. Uh, can't wait for everybody to see it. Um, God bless you guys, man. Enjoy. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Romeo. Thank you so Appreciate you. Much. Can't wait to hear more music, too. Let's get it. <laughs> Mahalo for hanging out with us today. And you know what? It has been so much fun. But I will say this, you know, talking to the cast, checking some behind the scene clips, and even checking out some of the clips from the movie, that was amazing. What else would be amazing is if we had the treasure. And I'll tell you this much, we got some treasure right behind us, the Finding Ohana treasure. They sent us the treasure and we embarked on our own journey and we found it. Now let's check out everything that goes inside. Uh, they got the Finding Ohana.
Spam Musubi recipe card, okay? How to make Spam Musubis, right inside there. Also, the 808 cleanups, you can check that out as well. And a greetings from Hawaii. They got a greeting card from Finding Ohana the movie. The greeting card, of course, you can put your stamp in, send them to whoever you like. And the Finding Ohana puzzle. About 100 pieces in here. Such an amazing thing, and it wouldn't be a complete treasure without the white chocolates. 70% dark chocolates right there. 70% dark chocolates. And the Finding Ohana tote bag. Look at the treasures we found. We're gonna throw all our treasures inside of here. And maybe if we get a little thirsty, the Finding Ohana water bottle. We found some treasures and the treasure doesn't stop there because we still got the, oh, this is probably where Peely had to dust it off and find the notebook, the journal that led them to the long lost treasure. Maybe this is what will lead us to our next treasure soon. Maybe we'll write something in here, but the Finding Ohana notebook. And <laughs> would it be complete? And we wouldn't reach the pedal without some spam. Mahalo again for locking it down and hanging out with us here today. My name is Romeo Valentine. Hope you had fun on this Finding Ohana adventure. As you embark on the adventure, January 29th on Netflix. Enjoy the movie. Until then, God bless you and aloha. Ah!